In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning and welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and we ask God's mercy and their forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Lord is God of salvation, past, present, and future. To the people exiled in Babylon, he announces through the prophet Isaiah his plan of saving them once more. He will work a new exodus that is even more wonderful than the past. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, who opens a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, who leads out chariots and horsemen, a powerful army, till they lie prostrate together, never to rise, snuffed out, and quenched like a wick. Remember not the events of the past, the things of long ago, consider not. See, I am doing something new. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? In the desert, I make a way. In the wasteland, rivers. Wild beasts honor me, jackals and ostriches. For I put water in the desert and rivers in the wasteland for my chosen people to drink, the people whom I formed for myself, that they might announce my praise. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, "The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing." The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When Jesus becomes the center of our lives, we are continually moved to know the Lord more deeply and more intimately. And thus to share in his life. Let us listen to Apostle Paul as he describes the the dynamism of Christian life. A reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For His sake. I have accepted the loss of all things, and I consider them so much rubbish, that I may gain Christ and be found in Him. Not having any righteousness of my own based on the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God, depending on faith to know Him and the power of His resurrection. And the sharing of his sufferings by being conformed to his death, if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. It is not that I have already taken hold of it, or have already attained perfect maturity, but I continue my pursuit in hope that I may possess it, since I have indeed been taken possession of. By Christ Jesus, brothers and sisters, I, for my part, please stand. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, but early in the morning he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started coming to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and made her stand in the middle. And they said to him, "Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now, in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. So, what do you say?" They said this to test him, so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them. Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. 
Again, he went down and wrote on the ground. And in response, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? And she replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. There is a saying which goes, Those who live in houses made of glass should not throw stones. Yung mga naninirahan daw sa bahay na yari sa salamin ay huwag mang babato sapakat sila ang unang mababasag o mawawasak. Sa ating ebanghelyo, may mga taong gustong bumato sa babaeng nahuling nagkasala. Pinagtanggol sa Yesus. Anong sabi ni Yesus? Kung sino man ang sa inyong walang kasalanan, siyang unang bumato sa babaeng ito. Sa harap ng Diyos, tayong lahat ay parang mga salamin. Wala tayong may tatago. Alam niya, alam niyang lahat ang laman ng ating isip, ng ating puso, ng ating kaluluwa, ng ating pagkatao. Bistado tayo. Kitang-kita ng lahat tungkol sa atin. Wala tayong matatago, wala tayong malilihim. Kaya sumulat si Jesus sa lupa. May mga dalubhasang nagsabi, anong sinulat ni Jesus sa lupa? Sinulat ni Jesus una, ang kasalanan ng babaeng nakasala. Pakikiapid. Hindi sa uminto doon. Sinulat niya pang lahat ng kasalanan. Pagnanakaw. Pagsisinungaling. Pagnanasa sa hindi mo asawa. Kawalan ng pagalang sa magulang. Kasakiman. Pagkitil ng buhay. Aborsyon. Nang makita yon ng mga tao, Nakita nilang kanilang kasalanan. Yung kasalanan ko, yung kasalanan ko, kasalanan ko, isa-isa silang umalis. Mas marami, mas mabigat pa pala ang kanilang kasalanan kaysa sa baing, babaeng gusto nilang batuhin. Si Jesus hindi nagusga sa atin kahit alam niya ang ating mga kasalanan. Kasi pag nagturo ka ng daliri sa isang tao, makasalanan siya. Tatlong daliri ang tumuturo pabalik sa iyo. Anong sabi ni Jesus? Huwag kayong mababato. Huwag kayong mangusga. Wala kayong karapatan. Hindi nyo alam ang pagkatao, yung tunay na pagkatao, yung taong yan. Hindi nyo alam ang kanyang pinagdadaanan. Hindi nyo alam ang kwento ng kanyang buhay. Anong alam mo? Sa Jesus, alam ng lahat sa atin, hindi tayo hinuhusgan. Bangkos, tayo ay pinapatawan. Sabi niya, huwag kayong mambabato. Pag tayo ng babato, ang isang tao, inililibing natin ng buhay. Huwag nating ilibing ng buhay ang isang taong nais magbagong buhay. Ang pambabato, hindi lang nakakasakit, nakakamatay. Kasi mo naalala niyo mga kwento, yung mga nagbabiyahe sa highway, NLEX, and SLEX, aba noon, pagkagabi, may nang babato no, sa mga overpass at maraming aksidente ang nangyari at may mga namatay. Hindi lang nakakasakit, nakakamatay ang pambabato. At hindi lang bato yung ginagamit. 
Yung bato matigas, pero maaari ito yung bato ng matigas at masakit na mga salita. Yung mga kasinungalingan, kasinungalingan, yung mga paninira, yung mga kwento na hindi totoo, yung mga pagbibintang at paratang na walang base sa katotohanan, yung pagkakalat ng fake news, yung pangbabas. Ilang tao na ang ating nilibing ng buhay dahil sa ating pambabato. Ang sabi ni Yesus sa ating Ebanghelyo ngayon, bitiwan ninyo ang inyong mga bato. Tanggalin ninyo ang mga bato sa inyong puso. Tanggalin ninyo. Naalala niyo kung paano binuhay ni Yesus si Lazaro, yung kaibigan niyang namatay ni Libing. Yung Libingan kasi noon, yung mga yung ibo, yung butas na inuka sa gilid ng bundok, doon pinapasok ang bangkay. Tapos, tinatakpan ng malaking bato. Anong sinabi ni Yesus pang mabuhay si Lazaro? Tanggalin ninyo ang bato. Remove the stone. At muling nabuhay si Lazaro. Siguro, yan din ang kailangan natin upang magkaroon tayo ng bagong buhay. Tanggalin natin ang mga bato sa ating mga puso at mga kalooban. Di ba naramdaman nyo? Pag kayo nakikim ng, nakikimkim ng galit, ng sama ng loob, ng balak maghiganti, ng kawalan ng kat kat katawaran, mabigat parang may bato sa inyong dibdib. Tanggalin ninyo at paranasan ninyo ang kapayapaan na tanging ang Panginoon lamang ang makapagbigay. Yung bato, matigas, masakit, nakakasugat, nakakamatay. Pag hindi ginamit ng wasto. Pero, yung mga bato, maring yung gawing pundasyon ng malaking gusali. Itong simbahan to, yari to sa bato. Ito yung haligi, yung pundasyon. Saan tumayo ang isang malaki, matibay, at magandang gusali? Bitiwan natin ang mga bato na nakakasakit, nakakasugat, at nakakamatay. At tumuntong tayo sa tunay na bato, si Kristo. Ang ating pundasyon, ang ating haligi, ang ating sandalan. Sitayo po tayo. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made consubstantial with the Father, to Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, for our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again in the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the, in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we draw close to Holy Week and Easter, we beg you, Almighty Father, to sustain us in your divine compassion so that we may attain spiritual renewal as we prepare to accept the Easter mysteries. We pray, and our response is, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. By the Spirit of Truth, may our church leaders be able to proclaim courageously the gospel even amidst neglect disinformation, and criticism. We pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. Under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, 
May our national leaders and citizens vigorously pursue justice for the poor, moral and spiritual renewal, and defend at all costs human life. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. By the light of faith, may those who are preparing for baptism be led and directed by their sponsors and catechists toward the steps of Christ, our resurrection and life. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. By the passion and death of Christ, may all the baptized create faith communities that will be rich havens of compassion and love. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promised to pray. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. For those who had left the order, and for the Dominican family and the family of our brothers, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. By the power of the Holy Spirit, may God welcome our beloved dead to the beatific vision so that they may be, be may be set free and come to eternal life. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Father, your word of mercy save the woman who was condemned to death. By your word, Jesus, save us from death and fill us with life you want for us to your cross. We ask this to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice to Christ 
Our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. We have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now, in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
is new. Here is Jesus Christ. He came not to condemn us, but to save us. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer of the election. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of God who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. O God, shepherd of souls and savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that you may always be counted among the members of Christ on whose body and blood we have communion who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a moment for some announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawak, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak will be on May 4th, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters or Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided 
with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawakminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will, will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikisa sa banal na misa. At patuloy nating pagnilay-nilayan at sundin ang bilin ng ating Panginoon sa Ebanghelyo. Huwag kayong mambabato. Mag-ingat po kayo lagi at naway lagi po kayong pagpalain ng ating Panginoon at ng ating mahal na ina hanggang sa muli po. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Ayun po yung dasal para sa mga may sakit. Yung mga, mga may sakit po na naririto po ngayon at kahit wala po rito pero naalaala po natin sila. At maring ang kailang sakit o karamdaman ay mas maluba kaysa sa atin, isama po natin sila sa panalangin na ito. Marahan po natin panggitin ang kanilang mga pangalan. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health to the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. Wag na po kayong lumapit ha, dyan lang po kayo sa inyong kinaroroonan, kami na po ang lalapit sa inyo. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, scapulas, crucifixes, and other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.